The stadium is buzzing already and with good cause. Two top sides ready to go at it and this should be something special on the pitch. It's West Ham United, they take on Chelsea and we're live on EA TV. Well, you never quite know what's going to happen in this all-London fixture. West Ham United against Chelsea here at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. Stuart, former West Ham player, of course. What should we be expecting today? Well, if West Ham play at their very best and close Chelsea down and stop them playing, they could cause an upset here today. They're a good team when they're playing at home. This could be a really tight game. West Ham sloppy in possession. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, no surprise really, they're matching up here, but there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. Well, Chelsea really want to win this game after only drawing in their last match against Liverpool. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Well, they certainly played some great attacking football in that draw. Today, though, if they play with a bit more purpose from the start, I think they'll Oh, hang on, one. Stuart, look at this! Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And the referee blows for a foul. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to be tightly marked today because in the last match, he was outstanding. He got his two goals, but it was his general play that was brilliant. And I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. Gusto. Madueke. Oh, might be. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? And the Hammers get the ball moving again. Will there be a quick reply from them? There needs to be. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Antonio. Might really be able to trouble them here. A real opening now. And simple for the keeper. Gallagher. Chelsea struggling to keep the ball. And a throw coming up after a really fine piece of tackling. Good example of pressing without the ball. Antonio. Ward Prowse. Can he take the chance? And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Keen to take it short here. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Gallagher. West Ham come away with it. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. Chance for the leveler. And he's got and scored to level it again.
Well, here it is again, and you have to say the 1-2 completely opens up the defensive structure, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, I think it's fair to say David Moyes is really pleased to be back on level terms here. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Tomasz Socek. Aguer. Nayev Aguer. Here is Zuma. Edson Alvarez. Well read to ease the pressure. Jackson on the ball. Might be a chance here. Well, it was down to whether or not he could beat the keeper. And that question has been answered. Well, I'm all for players striking through the back of the ball with power. But he has to hit the target from there. And teammates around him. Ward Prowse. Might work out. Press well. An utterly disappointing cross. Goal kick. Palmer. They've given it away. What can the Hammers do from this position? Maqueta. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. How to play it goes. He was under a bit of pressure. No point in stopping play, advantage with them. Antonio. Presswell. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And playing it back. A wild effort it was, and probably the less said about it, the better. Gallagher could be dangerous well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened Ward Kraus so far still level here but the pressure escalating oh surely Excellent block by Thiago Silva. In the right place to cut out the pass. And West Ham in a position of menace. Well, the hosts have dominated the flow of the game in the last 15 minutes and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make it count. Teammates available. Antonio. It should be. And it was a magical save, it was. <laughs> Playing it in. And putting paid to the danger. Breaking at pace. 
Ball lost by Chelsea. Vladimir so far. Well, the keeper in position to prevent another goal from him. Well, he's a massive threat. That really could have been his second goal there. Delivering it. Sound piece of defending. Palmer. Noni Madueke. Aguer. Well, good effect of pressure. Nayef Aguer. Tomasz Socek. Promising looking attack from West Ham. He's in here. Not quite the accuracy he was looking for. That'll be a goal kick. And intercepts again. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Well, let's call it a meaty effort, but certainly not accurate enough. Kukureya. Possession ceded by Chelsea. A danger here as he runs at them. Free kick to Chelsea. And there it is, the half-time whistle. That will do it for the first half here at the London Stadium. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. So back underway here into the second half. going to do to turn this around well underway again it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand and Chelsea get the decision from the referee well he might have been tempted to caution him but didn't Stuart yeah and I like that from the referee it's not a yellow card for me now it comes to nothing in the end really should have made more of that Disappointing for West Ham to give it away like that. Jackson. A wonderful intervention. Oh, a smart stop.
Now Chelsea in a position of menace. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's West Ham United taking on Brighton. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. Gusto. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. So check. Good distribution. Delivered into the area here. Well, pretty straightforward for the keeper, you've got to say. Thiago Silva. Moises Caicedo. Malo Gusto. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. But then the one that fails to hit its target. It should be! Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Took a well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, Chelsea really should be level now. That was so close to being the equaliser, but you do sense a goal is coming for them. Or Prowse. Antonio. Well, trying to place it, but without any great success. Well, maybe went for the wrong technique. If he'd have hit it with power, he may have got a better result. That's a poor effort, really. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Moises Caicedo and a tidy challenge Edson Alvarez so far on the ball Mikael Antonio Antonio huge block Free kick to Chelsea. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Chelsea versus Luton Town. <laughs> Moises Caicedo. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Antonio. Antonio! And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Laid into the centre. Under no real pressure. Presswell. Alvarez. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlight reel. And a substitution in the offing. Corner kick played in. Keeper getting the touch. And a time for calm on the ball. Oh. 
Mohamed Kudus. And teammates around him. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power. And the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. a tale of four goals in this match now 3-1 it is Jackson Nkunku and Sterling has it and a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now Antonio it's looking promising oh did so well to deny him he's having quite the game for himself save after save after save Nkunku and Chelsea moving the ball forward what can they do from here a fine reading of the situation high pressing at its best And play halted, free kick given. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural break before administering the caution. A well, good idea, but the execution wasn't quite right. Ten minutes to go then. And Chelsea have given us away. Well, even though we're not yet at full time, Stuart, I think we can still characterise this as an off day for Chelsea. Well, they've had no defensive game plan today. The forwards haven't pressed the ball. The midfield players have been outnumbered and there is too much space between the defenders at the back. That's been the problem. Possession lost by West Ham. Tomas Socek. Now, who can he play it to? And he's hit it with authority! Well, the goalkeeper is thankful that it wasn't a better effort than it actually was. An unforced error, you've got to say. Sterling has lost custody of it. Antonio... Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Kurt Zuma. Nayef Aguer. Vladimir Tsofal. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Mohamed Kudus. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. And space for West Ham in the wide position. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Caicedo. Sterling. And Kunku. Really good build up, but no end product. Just had no time on the ball on account of the pressure. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? 
Well, it is a caution, and quite frankly, he can't really quibble. No, it's been coming, hasn't it? He's got to be careful now. He could get a red if he's not careful. Kurt Zuma. Alvarez now. Emerson. The final whistle then. The referee says that will be all. And Chelsea fans less than pleased. No points for Chelsea from this game. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.